Texas tonight and Kyle Field, home of the 12th man, where the number 16 Aggies of Texas A&M get ready for their final non-conference game before they start SEC play next week against Auburn. They take on Lamar, an FCS playoff team a year ago. We're thankful for that. We're ready to go. Bailey Giffen has it on the tee as Lamar won the toss and elected to defer. Anaya, especially with the wide receivers, we'll get into more of that in a little bit. Handoff is to Jacoby, uh, uh, Jacob Cabote, excuse me. He's one of the running backs that we're going to be seeing tonight. Of course, Jay Sean Corbin is going to buy Cabote. Second down and six for Texas A&M on the opening series. Mond sprinting out. He's going to carry for a first down. Kellen Mond will move the chains. Through for 236 and a touch. Pro-style offense with a measured pace for these Texas A&M Aggies. Out of the gun. Mond on first down is complete. Already into plus territory. Jamon Osmond, big game for the Aggies' leading receiver through the first two weeks. Gets it to the 23-yard line of Lamar. But a super young football team all around, and you can't make those types of mistakes. Mond passes again, this time to the tight end, Glenn Beal. That's a good pickup on first down. That's his third catch of the year. The field yet. Jacob Cabote is in the backfield again behind Mond, and he'll get another handoff. Here's Cabote lowering his head for a first down inside the 10. Barrels his way down to the three-yard line. Cabote, Kagan Baldry, the fullback, also to the right of Mond. It is Cabote again, and he's upended at the four by Michael Lawson, the free safety transfer from... They fake the handoff on the jet sweep. Pass should have been caught by Cabote. And it lands incomplete. Three receivers to the right, two to the left. Empty backfield. Mond moves out of the pocket. Look into the end zone. Cox drops down. And he's going to be knocked out of bounds at the three-yard line by Isaiah Spencer. So we've got to get a touchdown there, Clay. So Seth Small comes on for the field goal attempt from 21 yards. And it's good. Jermaine Givens is a little relieved too that he's not making a start here in this environment as Miles Wanza gets the first handoff and he is dumped by Debion Renfro back to 24 points after the two-yard loss second down at 12 some pressure coming on the blitz pass is complete by Hoy and he'll get it to Kenny Allen Wanza is going to go in motion out of the backfield Hoy throws on the slant broken up Eric Pizarro, the intended target. Redshirt freshman from Tomball, Texas. Punters away cleanly, but it's going to go out of bounds near the 40-yard line. There's also a marker down back near the punter. Jason Autry is our referee tonight. No. Oh. AM had nine penalties last week. This is a run for A.J. Walker, senior running back. He did not first 2-0 and start since 1985. He'll run it again with Walker. And it's going to bring up third down. And There's a good look at that double-A gap. On third and seven, Hoy throws to the sideline incomplete. He was turn. Clemson punted four times last week. Paul did not have a return. He doesn't have a return here. And hoping to play well here tonight, come away with a win, and move on to SEC play. Trying to get to a first down as Kendrick Rogers on that first down grab. That's a gain of nine. Wide receiver is the deepest position at Texas a and as they go back to the run game, and that's going to be snuffed down the backfield. Cabote, the same that they normally do. Mine complete. That is caught by Buckley. Cameron Buckley getting loose. Down to the 33-yard line. This Mon one.
First down from the 33. Mon looking left. Man wide open. It's Rodgers. And he'll walk out of bounds and get hit hard. There's going to be a flag on Stanley Norman. The corner out of Los Angeles with a late hit. A late hit out of bounds. Defense number one. Half the distance to the goal. Automatic first down. Lamar took nine penalties last week against Mississippi Valley State. It's been a problem. Kabodi. Hurdles over the 10-yard line. Kabodi again. Good cutback. And dives down to the two-yard line. That's going to be close to a first down. Michael Lawson here. Has to take on a bigger role now. He gets it. And he's in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas A&M. The Aggies first of the night. Six two, two hundred eighteen pounds. Small tax on the extra point, and Texas A&M caps this drive for that tonight. And Mann puts it in the end zone for the second time. Wanza will take a knee. Can't abandon your post, right? You cannot abandon your post, especially in cover two. Here's Wanza on the carry. To the eleven they had all together a year ago. On second down, nowhere to go as that hole closed quickly in the middle. Wanza is wrapped up. Third down and nine for Lamar. Their only first down has come on a penalty. They're not going to get a first down here as Wanza catches that one in the flat. And AM rallies to the ball, led by Jeremiah Martin. Enrique Carmona. Another punt, another one toward the sideline, and two AM players crash into each other. Mond will start out of the gun on this series. Pressure off the edge and up the middle. Mond got it away, man wide open. It's Jamon Osmond at the 30, inside the 25, and inside the 20. Finally tackled by Michael Lawson, but that's a gain of 36 on first down for Kellen Mond. It's where they did not have a lot of success last week. And only three trips into the red zone. Here's Kabodi again. Going back to Jamon Osmond. Osmond has been battling some foot injuries in the recent past. Looking good now. Mond rolling out. Cross his body. Tried to get it off to the tight end Cameron Ori and he was hit as he threw Mon should have been caught Osmond with another Texas A&M drop said it before they had seven of those last week the boot so now a field goal attempt as another drive stalls out and a 32 yarder goes through for Seth Small his second three-pointer of the night and as Brayden Mann kicks again and like before he'll put it in the end zone but an unbelievable opportunity to make the most of something and to make this team special Jordan Hoy and the Cardinals offense going back to work he hits Mason Sykes the tight end nice gain on first down that's going to be 16 yards they, they still work they're work in progress at the wide receiver position as well after the first Offensive first down for Lamar. A.J. Walker carries, and he gets to the 45-yard line. And there's a face-masking penalty coming, most likely. Tyree Johnson, number three. The defensive end made the tackle, but how did he do it? That's the question. And penalty puts Lamar in Texas A&M territory for the first time. Wanza out of the backfield. Lowers his shoulder after the catch. 7-5 and five team last year that made the FCS playoffs. It'll be Hoy on the keeper. And he'll get to the... Th About 95,000 in attendance here tonight. Hoy to Miles Wanza. That's going to be a first down for Lamar. As they get to the 25-yard line. Walker again. Big hole. First down to the 10-yard line. 
A.J. Walker, the senior from Pinson, Alabama. Hoy on the pitch, ball on the ground. Wanza trying to get on it, and it rolls out of bounds. It's going to be an incomplete. He is a go here tonight, despite a minor leg injury. Second down and goal. He is complete. Caught at the five-yard line. Empty backfield. Hoy. Got it in there quickly, but it's knocked away. Charles Oliver, the veteran nickel and corner. He's last week. And it's set up from 22 yards out. And it's blocked. Scooped up. Bobby Brown got his hand on it. And the Texas A&M special teams unit with a big play here to keep Lamar off the scoreboard. Blocked field goal. And Texas A&M will run on first down and take a loss. Isaiah Spiller has checked in at running back for the first time tonight for Texas A&M. As they're complete to Kendrick Rogers. About a yard short of the first down. Number one, maybe Spiller in quarter number two. And we could see the other guys in the second half, possibly. Spiller for the first down. On first down from the 41, play action. Mon throws on the slant. Osbin doesn't drop it this time. There's a penalty marker down. Osmond got to the 40. We'll see what happens here. In Ellsmore, receiver downfield. Offense, number 55. It's Five coming back. Penalty from the previous spot. No. Repeat first down. Again, nine yards. Instead of being at the 40 of Lamar, they're at their own 35. Spiller again. Big hole, look out. Pushed out of bounds inside the 30-yard line by Lawson. Obviously very deep at that position. And another marker down. Maybe they caught Lamar in the neutral zone. He's going to be against the Cardinals. Offside. Defense, number seven. Five-yard penalty. Repeat first down. You know, Jimbo really talked about the 16 play drives a week ago and only 10 points. Three drives tonight, but only 13 points to show for it. Spiller on first down at five has the first down as he gets to the 14-yard line. Lamar is showing blitz. They back off. Thrown to the outside for Buckley. He's got a first down. Dives for the pylon. I'm going to say he stepped out at the four. Camp. Spiller. Gets the handoff. And he's tripped up inside the two. In Texas A&M in situations like this right around the goal line. And lowers that shoulder. He was stacked up, didn't cross the plane. He's also back there with Kagan Baldry, the fullback. It is Spiller, and they ran it home. On the ninth play of the drive, Texas A&M is able to find Pater. More like And Seth Small attacks on the point after to make it 20 to nothing. Ouch, Sunday nights, and here, and Chris Berman, and all those great nicknames of players. Well, he's given us the highlights from the day. No Sunday NFL ticket back then. We got to see the Broncos and they had to see of his college football career. Kirkland Banks, the receiver, takes it on the jet sweep. Hoy rolling out. And he's going to throw it away. Again, he reiterated how important it is to stay healthy in this matchup, especially keeping the guy with the ball healthy. And Hoy throws it away again. It made him kind of queasy in his stomach. I can imagine. Rashad Paul on the return. He's going to take it to the wide side of the field. He's got a lot of operating room. Might have a block in the back. Yep, here comes the flag. And a good return by Rashad Paul is going to be wiped out. I think Miles Jones is going to be called for the clip. And, and you could see it playing out in real time right there. And as a defender or a guy making a block there, it almost feels like he could have 
held off and just kind of shadowed him away, but. During the return, illegal block in the back. Return team number 10. 10 yard penalty from the spot of the foul. It'll be first down. Time after the loss at Clemson. And the Aggies have it here late in the first half. After the penalty, Mon to the air, and it's intercepted and dropped. Can't. Which was. <laughs> not, not, not well. That was my takeaway. Second down and 10 in the flat. Spiller. Nice move after the catch. Great juke. And he high steps to the 44 yard line. Isaiah Spiller is that these running backs are going to be judged on as they audition here to replace Jay Sean Corbin. Caught by Kendrick Rogers. First down and much more inside the 25. Down to the 23 yard line. And that's the, which has been the problem for Texas a &M. He's special. Here's Mond again to the air. It's Buckley this time. Boy, and they are wearing out the flat on this series. And Lamar finally. Well, they really haven't taken many shots either. So I don't know if it's been asked of him yet either. And Mond will keep it himself this time. Designed run, and it's a touchdown. Kellen Mond with his second rushing touchdown of the year. Carson Green here does a, a tremendous job of kicking out, allowing for Kellen Mond to step up. Jimbo showed me all week long about how it's a numbers game in his offense. If he sees he has the advantage on the perimeter in those numbers, he'll simply call the quarterback's number and put him one-on-one -on -one with the free safety. There he clearly gets to. And small tax on the extra point. And his family for all they've been through and what they're doing to change things. And a great story on the Holinskis. <laughs> and we're going to have to do the, the work we need to do, but it was special sharing it with my family and being able to do that with my young son. I tell you what, he, he didn't mind being in front of, you know. To, and congratulations. You told me last night, seven and a half years sober. That is such an accomplishment. Congratulations, my friend. I appreciate it. It's, uh, it's a daily thing, right? Just like anybody else. Has. A great athlete doesn't make you a good person. You have to build that foundation. Pass by Hoy is on the mark. And it's going to be about a yard short of the first down. It's a special one. <laughs> fourth down and a yard. They are going to punt. And it's already the fourth punt for Carmona. Rashad Paul takes it at the Texas A&M 20. Look at this run. He hasn't had a chance to return many punts this year. Both top 25 matchups existed. And there were seven upsets. And we've already seen... I think three today yep. in our top 25 rankings this week. Texas A&M working through some things. Leading big here, 27 to nothing. Trying to get on the board again here before half. They get to Isaiah Spiller, who's across the 40 to the 41. And we talked to the coaching staff, both coaching staffs, and they said we're planning on a fourth quarter game here tonight. But, you know, if this thing gets much more sideways, you wonder how long... Texas A&M for sure is going to stay with their starters. Mon throws and man open again and Kendrick Rogers dropped it. That is the fourth drop the Aggies receivers tonight. Final seconds Isaiah Spiller he's got a first down and Texas A&M on a 27 to nothing defense pitching a shutout. First play from scrimmage of the second half, Hoy. And it's bobbled along the sideline. That's going to be incomplete. Kirkland. And not trying to make too much out of something that misses it in there. And that goes against his instincts. Wanza on the cutback. And it'll be third down and long. Again, Lamar has a FBS and FCS programs. Hoy chased. To Marvin Leal. Hot pursuit, Manis, and just a true freshman. Carmona. Good kick, and this is going to bounce inside the 20. And down to the 11-yard line. you got to catch the ball. The play. Let's push for my conduct. Kicking team, number 41. Receiving team, number 10. Those penalties offset. That's the first unsportsmanlike foul for each player. 
timeout. Good play. Interesting to see what the Patriots do. Here's Kellen Mond starting the second half. Isaiah Spiller also getting the start here in the second. I don't see Lamar scoring points. And they have to play the Auburn Tigers next week. But Spiller, good run. Like we talked about in that open of the from the 23. And Mon goes back to Spiller. Spiller hit, and he's going to be spun down back near the line of scrimmage. Two uh, puts puts the running back position in in question. They have four capable guys. I just don't know if they they know yet who they're going to rely on the most. It's going to be a catch close to the first down, battling Northwestern State at 17-14 in the second quarter. Here's Kellen Mond taking a deep shot. He hasn't taken many tonight, and it's intercepted. Cameron Hayes picks it off. And he's going to bring it back to the 34-yard line. Picked off Mon moments ago. He almost had an interception in the first half. And Kellen Mond with... Expectations were high for this football team, for Kellen Mond in particular. There's Walker on the run, a penalty flag. On that second down, Carey. Holding. Offense, number 72. Ten-yard penalty from the previous spot. Second down. As that stats don't necessarily tell the whole story, and what I've seen today, and I think what everybody else watching on TV has seen, is that this football team has struggled offensively, even though it was, was the, he said trust and respect a ton when he talked about his relationship with Coach Fisher. And it was almost like a... A, a father figure. Boy incomplete. And Mason Sykes on third down, so another punt. This would be number six from Carmona. Fair catch called for by Rashad Paul. At no point did I feel like LSU was in danger, though. I felt like if that game would have gone on for four more hours, they would have always been up two scores. Mond, who was intercepted on his last pass, is complete this time. Great scramble. Got some time and then hit Jamon Osmond deep into Lamar territory to the 45-yard line. Now, here's a good example of him rolling to his right. Now, before, when he rolled to his left, he had to, to stop and throw. This time, he moves to his right. He's able to set and throw a little bit better and a great job of Jamon Osmond of reaching out with his hands, catching the football with the hands, because they have, if you've shaken their hands, they have big hands and can catch the football really well if they utilize that. So after the mistake, Jimbo goes right back to Kellen for a potential big play, and he connects. And now Isaiah Spiller running right up the middle will carry to the 34-yard line. You know, and that's what you got to have. You got to have confidence in your young man, even though he made a mistake on the last pass attempt. Give him a chance for another shot deep. You know, sometimes, you know, Jimbo told us that. Sometimes he gets on him just so he'll simply get out of his own head sometimes and go out there and compete. Six plays of 20 yards or more, and you touched on it earlier, Ryan. Wanting to see more explosive plays starting to come their way. Spiller steps out of a tackle, and he's gone. Touchdown, Isaiah Spiller. Another explosive run. 34 yards and a touchdown, his second of the night. For the six. Point after by Seth Small. Young talent that he has, even though they suffered a big loss in losing Jay Sean Corbin last week, some guys who played well here tonight. Fair they catch have. called. And ninth graders. <laughs> Still hanging around. Yeah. Here's Miles Wanza. Uh -oh. Big run for Miles Wanza, the junior from Houston. Into the secondary. Had one man to beat and couldn't do it as Leon O'Neill. A true sophomore from Cypress, Texas, got him down, but that's a run of 43 yards for Wanza. Wonderful job of staying with him. A little read action there. Good blocking down the football field. Gives him a little hole, and he just accelerates through it. Knows when he's had enough. Gets down. Bring the football over. Taking care of the football. They fake the jet sweep. Pass is complete. To the 21-yard line, Case Robinson. 
Only their second time in AM territory for Lamar. Hoy to the outside. It's complete and quickly out of bounds is Kirkland Banks. Tough part of the field for any offense. The core of cadets very loud on this end. Hoy off balance and hit as he throws. And guess who? It was DeVar DeMarvin Leal again. Tipped. Still in the air, and AM says they have it. Intercepted. Boy, that ball was batted around like a volleyball, and finally AM came down with the interception. Debbie Owen Renfro with the pick. Hesitates a little bit with the football. Ball gets tipped. My bit. I want to make sure I say that right. Matt BK. Matt BK yep. tips it. After further review, the ruling is the ball touched the ground prior to being possessed by the defense. Therefore, it is an incomplete pass. The result of play is fourth down and four yards to go from the 14-yard line. Long enough. And right on the money. Bailey Giffen, who missed his first two field goal attempts. Uh, as coaches, as teachers. Nice. Smith brings it out of the end zone. Another penalty flag as he stops short of the 20. In fact, when, when, when I was in college, she would she would call me up. Illegal wedge block, return team, number 24 and 46. Half the distance to the goal, first down. Fact Features. It's amazing. Gloria Fisher still teaching at 82 years old. They're still in there for Texas a &M. Five minutes to go here in the third. Mon bobbled. And Buckley is able to hang on to it. And he's got the first down. Cameron Buckley in touchdowns last year. First down and 10. Here comes some pressure. Mond was hit. Got it away to Rodgers. It's another big play. And he gets to the 42-yard line before he's pushed out of bounds. Back to back. Nice plays. My Mond and the receivers. Misfires that time. Incomplete. Looking for Glenn Beal, the tight end. And he's just a true freshman. Mond clean in the pocket. Anaya Smith gets it into Lamar territory. And speaking of true freshmen, Smith out of Sugarland, Texas, is a rookie. There is a marker on the field on the far side. In Ellsworth, receiver downfield, offense number 76. Five yard penalty, repeat, second down. But center's the spot where they're trying to replace a key man. There's Smith again as he gets it to the 42 yard line. Peters trying to figure things out at that spot as a senior. Illegal hands the Simply face. the most. Defense number 49. The 15 yard penalty will be added to the end of the play. Automatic first down. Number 28 can remain in the game. And that's on Lamar. A shot to the head. came off easy call to make by the official and David Crosley junior middle linebacker first down Kellen Mond complete there's Anaya Smith inside the 25 boy making a good impression here in the second half of this game Anaya Smith for tonight for Texas and I'm starting to see some of those explosive plays that they were yearning for first couple of weeks Smith again that should be a first down Jimbo Fisher and they said you got to write number 17 down in fact they changed his number this week because of special teams considerations here's a handoff to Kabodi and he gets it excuse me it was a mod who kept it tonight one of them a touchdown on wide open Osborne hangs on to that one touchdown Texas A&M And it's the first touchdown pass of the night for Kellen Mond, his fifth of the year.
Pretty easy work here. The eyes are on him the whole way, and the strong safety just never gets over the top. Another example right there of a wide receiver using his hands. Reaching out, grabbing the... I, I, I felt like that's, that's what he was trying to get across to us. And Lamar in coverage and try to make Kellen Mond beat them with throwing the football. If Spiller can carry the rock and and move down the football field, then, then that's a different story, and it's entirely up to Jimbo. But I would suspect we won't see uh, uh, Kellen Mond again the rest of the night. Here's number 10, Zach Calzada, true freshman of Sugar Hill, Georgia. And we were talking to Jimbo Fisher this week. He's uh, got the kind of arm talent that that makes a guy like Jimbo Fisher very excited. And he is the backup. He has won the number two job here in College Station. And he's got his helmet on. He's getting ready to go. Early, early enrollee. Been here for a while. Earned the respect of a lot of his teammates. And is going to get a shot. On third down with some pressure. Hoy got rid of it, but he's going to get maybe the entire fourth quarter. Chance to get a lot of work in. This is returnable for Rashad Paul. Midfield to the 40, to the 30 of Lamar, and down at the 25-yard line. Big return for the junior from Bremen, Texas, out of Georgia. And look at it throw on first down. How about that? Touchdown to Jalen Weidermeyer, his tight end. Boy, that was a nifty throw. Hadn't even worked up a sweat yet. Boy, I can see why Jimbo Fisher is happy that this guy is on his team. Not only him. Oh, but Weidermeyer as well. Weidermeyer, who caught his first career touchdown last week with six seconds left in that Clemson game, gets his second career touchdown on a dime thrown by Calzada from 25 yards away. Play action fake. He has to get pushed in the pocket a little bit. He had his eyes on him the whole way and absolutely puts a dime, like you said, on the fingertips of Weidermeyer for six. Way to move. Guy in his face. Even takes a hit for it for your first touchdown. You gotta love that stuff. And Weidermeyer, who's 6'5", but needed to reach up for that one. A former high school basketball player. We talked about his NFL potential. Made a nice catch. And it's now 48-3 to three Aggies. You know what was pretty cool to see right there? To see Kellen Mond be the first one out there to see. It. I, my backup quarterback was really special to me, and sometimes they never got the opportunity to play because we were doing our thing. But when they got in a football game and got to put to got to put to work all the stuff they've been doing and all the hard work they put in, that's cool to see. That's a. I sat for two hours in that quarterback room on Thursday, and it's a tight unit. You can tell. And you've got to be extra smart to be in Jimbo Fisher's quarterback room because he puts a lot on your plate. There's a lot of arithmetic. Pick Ryan Lee for our crew here in College Station. Final seconds of quarter number three. And there's the 12th man, Braden White. That's the end of With that said, six penalties, four drop passes, some mistakes, some drives that didn't finish in touchdowns that sh should have on the field. Backups on this defensive unit out there now. Miles Ooh. Wanza carries. Ball comes out. Texas A&M has it. Scooped up by Charles Oliver. And the Aggies are going to have it at the 30-yard line. Larry Pryor lay in the wood. Boy, you could hear that all the way up here. Woohoo! Perfectly, perfectly placed helmet right at the football, just like it, the tackle was supposed to be made. He jars it loose. Coach Elko talked about their identity, right? Being physical, stopping the run, and getting takeaways, attacking the football. Perfect example of that. 
Third string boundary safety. Larry Pryor. That's what happens when the reserves get in. They're, they're going to come in and try and make a point. Ball comes out. Calzada put it on the turf. Now, did he just turn it over? Yes, he did. He got hit. Davion May recovers for Lamar. So moments after the Cardinals oh, turn it over for the first time. The penalty has declined. Result of play is a first down. Time. After back-to-back -back turnovers, it's Lamar with the football again, and Jermaine Givens, the new quarterback, made his college debut against NAIA Bethel a couple of weeks ago. You can see he's a dual threat. Good feet, gets to the 40-yard line. At the ESPN College Football presented by Dr. Pepper. Lamar on third down and short, and Givens is incomplete. Trying to hit... A lot of punts on the other side. Carmona bobbled it, nearly had it blocked. And Rashad Paul, who had a long return on his last. Really great play by the young freshman. And a, and a, a big mistake. Let's see what he can do with another drive. And it's Kabodi changed the directions. Good run. And he's got a first down, Jacob Kabodi. All right, here's the play. Big matchup of top 10 talent. Felipe Franks is out. Trask is in for Florida. So that's part of the reason. They're 12 and a half to go. Calzada. And that's well overthrown. Intended for Anaya Smith. Never even crossed my mind for me to graduate early. And go play. Calzada chased. Strong throw. Fires it into Smith who has been almost exclusively the receiver. A little different down here in the SEC. Mostly the freshmen that can come in here are going to play. Kabodi. In there yet. Calzada. On the money. Jalen Preston. First down and more. Preston. Redshirt freshman out of Manville, Texas. 234 yards on the season on average. Well above that tonight through the air. That'll be it. Not going to soon forget it. Kellen Mond was very good in that game. It was just a terrific night, an historic night. Uh, deservedly so. You have to be. You have to execute better. Blitz picked up nicely. Could have been caught by Smith, but he took a pretty good shot. Braden Mann, one of the best punters in the country, pro or amateur. Drops it inside the five. It checks up. Buckley there to cover it. And, and the app. Reserve defenders in there for Texas A&M. That run out to the 15-yard. It, it just is. You just played the number one team in the country a week ago. You're about to play the number eight ranked team next week. And you have a, a, a team. Jed, we asked it to him the other day. Because when he gave us the answer, I, I quickly asked him, did he feel responsible? Why should the FBS be responsible for the success? Lamar, one of 13 on third down, and they're not going to convert here. A lot of track suits, plays for meals, pays for a lot of things that keep these programs up and running. Rashad Paul has been electric on punt return. Here's another opportunity, and it's another big play. Still on his feet inside the 20, and he sidesteps out of bounds at the 13-yard line. Rashad Paul. Six yards in punt returns tonight for Rashad Paul. Smith, Isaiah Smith, touchdown! The true freshman who has had a brilliant night here, especially in the second half. And Isaiah Smith out of Sugarland, Texas, with his first career touchdown. Coaches, coaches circled this. Said that it's it's his responsibility, and he takes accountability for it. Jermaine Givens taken off. And the freshman quarterback will go ahead for a couple of yards. Is each and every week. Blown up in the backfield is Givens. 
And this defense has been inspiring tonight for Texas A&M. That was Tyree Wilson. Backup defensive end tonight. Max Wright up tonight. Courtney Davis, receiver for Texas A&M. Nothing serious. They're just being cautious with him. So he did not play for the Aggies tonight as Cole Starnes fix some things. I'm sure there'll be some more things to work on. That's a low snap. But the 10th punt is away. And this time it's Anaya Smith. Up against a, a UCF team that's been very, very good. But a game that needed to be won for the Pac-12 Conference to just to gain that garner that respectability that they need because this is string on the depth chart get a chance to take some snaps here at quarterback for the Aggies stumbles in the backfield he wants to throw here on first down and just missed hitting Anaya Smith again for a big play so the third quarterback that we have seen here tonight for a and it was Mond of course to start Zach Calzada very impressive in his time here in the second half and now James Foster well, Jimbo wants to see what these guys have to offer because he's not just running the football to run this clock out, right? He he ran a play that, that's based in their offense, and he wants to take a good look at James Foster and see what he can do. Cordarian Richardson in the ball game in the backfield. It will be Foster on the keeper, and he'll get it across the 35 to the 34. Foster threw behind his receiver, Smith. And Foster would have put it right on him at the moment. Foster throws again. That one's plucked out of the air. That'll be a first down. Smith taking a heavy hit. Is there another receiver that plays for Texas A&M? It's also at a drop. And then don't forget to throw Weidermeyer in there. He's, he's going to be a big, big reason why this passing game is successful later on in the football season. Fairly dissipated from the performance tonight. I will say this, they did use their hands better. Uh, when they did make catches, they extended their hands. and Two-point lead and looking for more. And might be a full start. Full start. Offense, number 64. Five-yard penalty. First down. They're expecting big things from Luke. That's a little high again intended for Smith. Well covered. My dream. coaching some growing pains at times because of the youth. You know, you can say that. Richardson, he's going to take it in for a touchdown. For Darian Richardson, I think he went in untouched. The sophomore transfer from Central Florida is heard from here late in the fourth quarter to compete for an FCS playoff berth again. It feels really confident. You know what he, he he did tell us this week too, and he really appreciated this ball a priority. Mike was quick to point that out. As Givens takes off on the draw play, and he's got great feet. He'll run it out of bounds. AM squad has ahead of it yet this year. Played number one last week, and they still got a slew of ranked opponents ahead. And, and I, I things this year. Givens right up the middle. He'll slide down at the 40-yard line. And third down tonight. And Givens isn't going to pick it up here. That'll do it. We'll see if Lamar runs another play. I don't think so. Well. Texas A&M scored just 10 points last week. Fewest scored by an A&M offense since November of 2015. A 19-7 loss at LSU. Tonight, Jimbo's Texas A&M Aggies throw-ups.